Hello and welcome to the FIFA 20 demo. In this video we'll be focusing on the Volta football mode and testing it out seeing what it's all about. If you're looking for kickoff, there's another video up on this channel and you can go and check that out. But for now, let's start this Volta mode up shall we? Now I believe there will be a small cutscene, we are going to skip that. I have already played one game of this just so that we are able to skip the cutscenes and to see generally how it feels what it's all about. So, for me, I grew up really, really enjoying the FIFA Street games, especially the first one. The first one must have come out when I was about 10 years old, and it was amazing. This one feels quite different from that, I'm not going to lie. The original FIFA Street, hello. Let's just, let's just get an early goal. Why not? First of four wins, by the way. The original FIFA Street was just like crazy over-the-top nonsense, and this one seems like it's trying to be a bit more grounded, a bit more like the last FIFA Street to come out. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of that. I'd rather have the craziness, but I can see that some people will definitely prefer a more down-to-earth, authentic mode. And it's by no means bad either, especially not when you learn all the buttons. There's... Uh, an interesting situation when you load up the game, it doesn't tell you exactly what to do, but if you press the right trigger and left trigger at the same time, the player will do the best skill for the position you're in, I believe is how it's explained. So if I'm there, he'll try something to get around that man. Doesn't always work, and to be honest, if you know the controls on, on the uh, right analog stick anyway, you're probably better using that, because then at least you have some control over which trick you're doing. Can we get this in? Another big change in this one, actually, is the shooting feels much more precise. So if you get the ball and you're not that close to goal, like we aren't here, it goes wide a lot more often. Now, it is a lot smaller goals, so it's kind of fair enough. But you have to be damn close up to guarantee hitting the target. And even then, you're not guaranteed a goal by any stretch of the imagination. Look at that. Look how far wide that went. <laughs> it's really difficult to judge with shooting. Now, the gameplay does feel good. Surprisingly good. I thought this might be a bit tacked on when I first saw it. Like, oh, everyone wants FIFA Street, so let's bring it back in some cheap and easy way. But it's not bad at all. Ooh, good save. We got uh, Vinicius Jr., I think, is the only real player in this uh, team at the moment, on this pitch currently. Around the keeper, but not really anything to do there. In fact, can we do this? Yes. Nice open goal. Nice easy one. Look at that. That was Rocky Hecker. Oh, I'm not good at names. Hecker Jaya? Hecasia? Maybe? Sure. Sure, why not? As you can see here, I will be using the trick stick quite a lot. Oh. Now, one thing I should mention at some stage is that any music you're hearing in the background has been added by me. Because I believe it's all licensed music. Come on, Vinicius. We'll just walk this in, shall we? Yeah. It's actually pretty easy at the moment. I wonder if we can up the difficulty and play another game in a minute. But as I was saying, any background music you're hearing is royalty free that I've put in there to add a bit more, a bit more ambience to the game. Because otherwise, this would have been claimed, no doubt. There's the fourth. Right, let's see if we can up the difficulty a bit, because that was rather easy. Uh, can we up the difficulty in this thing? It wouldn't be available now, I don't think. No, no, but that's all right. We'll see if it's available uh, in between games. And if it isn't, we'll play another one anyway, because I've been enjoying it. All right, we are back with more Volta. I couldn't find a way to change the uh, difficulty settings. There may be one. I'm not saying there isn't in the demo. There absolutely will be in the final game, one would imagine. Uh, but there may well be one in the demo as well. I just couldn't find it. I've got my actual game difficulty set to world class. But I don't think that's translated over just by the way that I'm beating these guys pretty comprehensively, pretty easily, without too much of a challenge. Look at that flick. I do like, there's just something so cool about 
seeing football played with all the tricks and all the flicks in. Because you feel like in the actual game sometimes, and it, it can go out of play as well, by the way. Hmm, they get the ball back from that because we touched it, I suppose. Because in the actual game of football, as I was saying, you sometimes feel like a manager will tell a player not to go for the Hollywood pass or do a little flick or a trick here and there and to play sensibly. This mode, you don't play sensibly. You play dumb. Dumb and fun. Let's bring him down. There are fouls in this mode as well. It's weird. It's very arbitrary as to what counts as a foul. Sometimes you'll hit a player into a wall and think, oh, that's going to be a free kick and nothing gets given. And other times you'll just barely touch someone and I go, yeah, that's a foul, buddy. Oh, we're having a little bit trickier of a time scoring in this one. We have had all the ball, but I'm not really creating anything. I think I need to let them come out with the ball and then hit them on the counter. Because one of the big ways you score goals in this mode... Ugh. One of the big ways you score goals in this mode is through having an open net. So you kind of need the opposition to come out to give you that chance. Because look how just structured they are at the moment. That having been said, get around him. <sighs> need to perfect my shooting a little bit on this mode. Is that going to go out? No. Oh, Vinicius. Oh, you see... I got extremely lucky. There's no way that was a foul. And you shouldn't be taking people on as the last man. Damn it. All right, I'm 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 getting what I deserve here. Got to play just a little bit more sensibly. None of the tricks are coming off at the moment either. Maybe, maybe my difficulty settings have impacted the game all of a sudden. So I haven't... I haven't really had a sniff until now. Nice and easy. Oh, and you get this as well. I'm not I'm not convinced by that. Why do we need that? I think it's in there as like a little bit of flair, but ugh. There's no way anyone on the sideline has that perfect of a view to get that camera angle. There's a chain link fence between them and the players. There's no way. But whatever. Just giving him a bit too much of an easy shot there. I don't know if there's going to be some kind of career mode attached to Volta either, by the way. I really hope there is. One of the best things about the original FIFA Street was starting off with players like uh, Clinton Morrison. And I think Paddy Kenny was one of the first goalkeepers you got the chance at. And then adding players slowly to the team like Hernan Crespo. And then as you went up, Ronaldinho and Rivaldo. And what, it was just great. Playing for keeps as well. It was a fantastic mode. Oh, bullshit. Whatever. I think we should have saved that. But yeah, if they flesh out Volta as much as that, I would, one, be surprised, but I would be really pleasantly surprised. It'd be something I'm very much for. Right, I think that's just half time. I think we've still got a chance to come back into this, so let's uh, let's get it done. One more goal and we're out, though. Come on, I'm playing. I'm being very cautious here now. Vinicius, just run backwards, buddy. Let's get a foot in. I'm just waiting for them to make a mistake. They're going backwards for some reason. We're in, we're in. Oh, goddamn. Lost the ball too easily. And now I've just given it all away. Oh, it was a good save, and then it just bounces straight back to them. Oh, he, he warped. He warped, sure. All right. All right, we'll go for one more. All right, the final game of Volta for the day. I still wish after playing the first couple of games in this video that it was a little bit sillier. It had a little bit more of that original FIFA Street flair. But I do think it's going to be a fun mode. I, I don't think I'm disappointed with this by any stretch of the imagination. It's still good. It's just not quite what I imagined it would be. Oh, that's a terrible pass. You've just signed for Real Madrid. Oh, come on. Oh, it's tough now. I have upped that difficulty, and I'm pretty sure it's had an impact. Oh. 
I was just watching. I didn't even have the the guts to say anything while that ball was slowly inching towards the towards towards the line. I think I went Dutch for a second there. Towards the line. Didn't quite get it. This is going to be another walkover, isn't it? I think that's their ball. Yeah. That is how that works then. I think if that goes out of play, uh, without touching my player, it comes back to us for like a goal kick. And if it goes out of play after touching our player, it goes back to them for a goal kick. I say goal kick. Volta's version of a goal kick. I can't get a touch of the ball anymore. I mean, I'm not really going in for the tackles, because otherwise this happens, but still. Uh, it's absolutely on. I don't know whether I've got the placement from that range, but I do. Oh, I do. All right, just run into a wall. Oh, you know, smack your back against it. Why not? That was Jay Zinho. All right, let's see if we can pick this up a little bit. Make it two wins out of three. I need Vinicius to stay in goal, though, if we're going to make that happen. For now. I can't take my goalkeeper out and just give them an empty net. Ow! Foul! I can't move. I can't move with that player. Right, I think we're good. A little back heel. Get the shot away. Beautifully done. I'm watching that one again. And straight off the wall as well. I like that. That's a nice animation. Through the legs, was it? I think so. Another one for Jay Zinho. I think he's the main man at the moment. Maybe Real Madrid should have signed him. Vinicius, give up your contract. He's clean through if he makes the... Oh, okay. It's Jay Zinho again. Can't finish this time. Yes, he can. I didn't have faith in him. There's the hat trick. I don't think we need a replay of that one. One more and we get this win. Just intrigued to see what they do with this at launch. This could be a really fun mode or it could be just exhibition stuff. Which still would be fun, but... Would lose its polish after like an hour or two. Right, I've brought uh, Vinicius out. Jay Zinho's in net, which he shouldn't be. He definitely shouldn't be, apparently. That was dreadful. And that guy's Spider-Man. Let's do a trick. No. No. Don't want this to get to 3-3. I will lose my nerve if this gets to 3-3. Are, are you kidding me, Jay Zinho? Are you, are you doing anything in that net? He just hits it. Ah, oh, stand there. I'll watch that go in. I mean, don't be there if you're not going to do anything. <sighs> needed it. I needed that. This is where it's all over, isn't it? <sighs> There's only eight seconds left. No! Jay Zinho is the worst keeper in the world. What's that position? Oh, man. Oh man, what a way to finish. Anyway, that has been Volta. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, god damn it, leave a like and subscribe for more like this if you haven't already. And go and check out the, the kickoff video, which is also up on the channel. Uh, so thank you for watching. I've been Nathan. I'll see you next time. Bye.